One thing that makes Director really stand out among other tools that you can use to create media presentations is that it has the ability to create and manipulate 3D graphics. Let me give you an example of an extruded 3D text that I have here, and I'm running a behavior to zoom in and out of this text object, scroll around within it. So with Director, it's very easy to bring in these 3D graphics that you create in other applications such as Maya or 3D Studio Max, or you can create primitive, simple 3D graphics in Director itself, like this graphic here. You can develop a wide spectrum of 3D productions ranging from simple text handling like I have here to interactive product demonstrations to complete immersive game environments. Using Shockwave Player, users can view your work on the web with Netscape Navigator, Microsoft Internet Explorer, or any other browser that supports web packaging. You can import fully rendered 3D graphics into Director or, as I mentioned, create 3D objects in Director by converting 2D text, like I've done here, to 3D text. Director lets you detect the capabilities of the user's system and then adjust the playback demands accordingly. Powerful computer with 3D hardware acceleration brings out the best results for your Director projects, but users can successfully use Director movies with 3D on most Mac or Windows hardware platforms. Obviously, the faster the computer's graphics processing, the better the results will be. The ability to adjust for client-side processing power also makes Director ideal for web delivery. Director also ships with a very nice collection of 3D behaviors behaviors that you can apply to your 3D objects to add functionality. Notice that here in my 3D category, let me go ahead and compress this under behaviors here. Notice that there's a 3D category with actions and triggers. If you open up actions, you have quite a number of behaviors that you can do fly-throughs, drag cameras, drag models, create spheres, and so on. However, more complex 3D operations will be performed using either Lingo or JavaScript. These are the built-in scripting languages of Director that I reviewed in the last section of this tutorial. In fact, what you'll find is that the Director 3D documentation assumes that you understand either Lingo or JavaScript syntax. If you've not yet learned Lingo or JavaScript, you'll want to see the scripting reference topics in the Director Help panel which lists all of the lingo and JavaScript syntax methods and properties that are available in Director. The scripting reference topics here in Director help describe each expression, illustrates its syntax, and provides examples. So notice that there's a section here called 3D objects, cameras, groups, light, members, models. So if you really want to get into 3D, to a far greater depth than I'll cover in this introduction. You'll want to orientate yourself to this section and start reading through and going through examples that are provided here, sample scripts, in the 3D objects section of the Director Scripting Reference. So, because working in 3D in Director is primarily controlled by behaviors and scripts, I'll just be providing a quick orientation to working with 3D in Director in this section of the tutorial. For a more complete treatment of this topic, you'll also want to view several topics here under Using Director, namely 3D Basics, the 3D Cast Members, 3D Text, and 3D Behaviors, as well as Controlling the 3D World. Now, technology referred to in the Director documentation as the 3D Extra Extension is what lets you include 3D models in a Director movie. You can import 3D models or worlds created with a 3D modeling program, such as 3D Studio Max, and then use Director to deliver them on the web. You can also combine the abilities of Director and your 3D modeling software by building a 3D world in your modeling program and then adding to it or modifying it in Director. To use 3D images and text created in third-party rendering software applications, you must first convert the file to a W3D otherwise known as a Web 3D format, which Director supports. Typically, each rendering application requires its own specific file converter to create these W3D files. 
for more information about creating these W3D files, see the documentation for your 3D modeling software. Let me now move on to the next movie and introduce you to creating 3D content in Director by demonstrating how to convert 2D text into 3D text like I have here.